work of an actin filament so actin filament is very very important for a cell now let us talk about the intermediate filament and uh, intermediate filament assembly if we uh, look at the structure of intermediate filament it is made up with this protein molecule uh, it's an alpha helical monomer we can see excuse me so we have monomer with the n terminal and c terminal so this n terminal c terminal monomer with attach with many of this monomer at least here uh, uh, another monomer to make a dimer so we have a dimer ha having the same n and c terminal so no distinguish uh, uh, so it, it is a polar molecule now so it is an n terminal c terminal we call it a polar in nature now uh, two of this dimer will attach with each other in such a way that they will eliminate this polarity that means after the attaching of two dimers in opposite orientation they finally make a, a construction of a polymer which is having uh, both terminal with n that means there is no polarity is shown in this case after the dime after the tetramer is formed after the attachment of two dimers so this tetramer arrangement is done after the tetramer arrangement this lot of different tetramers will come together and interact with each other by these head regions these are called the head region and this is the coiled coil region which is the alpha helical uh, protein structure they pack together to make uh, two tetramers will pack together to finally make a filament now this filament with attach with each other they 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 stack one by one with each other to finally make a filament structure like that this is an electron micrograph showing the intermediate filament assembly now what is the work of an intermediate filaments these intermediate filaments are really really strong because they are made up with this alpha helical protein they are fibers in nature they are really strong so they they help in integrity for a cell so we have a cell lining we have a different um, uh, type different number of cell along align in a particular uh, uh, origin so we have we have this vessel lamina and this lamina we have different uh, we have many cells and all these cells will be held together by this actin so if we think about this this is the intermediate filament so intermediate filament go basolaterally hold all these cells together so that's a very very important work for intermediate filament now we'll look into the animation of intermediate filament uh, and how and why an intermediate filament is important now look eukaryotic cells contain a complex network of filaments intermediate filaments microtubules and actin filaments that provide the cells with strength structure and movement Although all eukaryotic cells contain microtubules and actin filaments, intermediate filaments are found only in vertebrates and a number of other soft-bodied animals. Intermediate filaments are found in animal cells that require a lot of strength, such as the epithelial cells of the skin. Some of these filaments span the length of the cell, connecting cell-cell junctions called desmosomes. cables of intermediate filaments have a high tensile strength. Without these filaments, stretching or pressure on the epithelial sheet would cause it to rupture. Each filament is rope-like, consisting of eight thinner strands made of a precise hierarchical arrangement of protein subunits. At the lowest level, two monomers associate with each other to create a twisted dimer. Two dimers then line up to form a staggered tetramer. Note that the two dimers are arranged in opposite orientations with their amino terminal ends away from each other so that the two ends of the tetramer are indistinguishable. Tetramers then link end to end. thus building up one strand of an intermediate filament. A total of eight strands stack together and twist around each other to create the intermediate filament. This stacking provides the extensive lateral contacts between the strands that give the filament its remarkable mechanical strength. An electron micrograph shows the appearance of intermediate filaments that have been assembled in a test tube. Okay, so this was an animation about the intermediate filament. As you can see, uh, the arrangement of the intermediate filament is typical in such a way that they, that can resist a typical huge tensile uh, strength. 